Hello everybody and welcome to Big Oggy Golf. Today, doing a big O opinion on a club we've had sent to us by Lynx for us to try. So, what have we got? Underneath one of their snazzy little protectors that comes with it, we have got a wedge. So, Lynx have sent us a 64 degree wedge, their Predator line, and it's got this lovely black PVD coating. Absolutely fantastic looking club. Lynx mentioned it on Twitter, we put a couple of posts out, and they, they sent us one to try. So uh, we're here today at Hale Golf to give it a try on their little short game area. So these wedges from Lynx, it's got my notes here, they come in four different loft options. You've got a 52 degree with 8 degree of bounce, a 56 with 14 degrees of bounce, a 60 with 8 degrees of bounce, and the one we've got here, the 64, which has got the 12 degrees of bounce. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little test today, the big O opinion, see what it's like, and uh, yeah, see what it is. The price point of these is very good. They do two finishes. They do this, the PVD black finish, which retails at $52.99 through their website. They also do a chrome finish, which retails, do believe, at $49.99. So very affordable wedges compared to the other wedges out there on the market. When you look at some, you're looking at £150 per wedge. I mean, various different price points out there. But let's see how it stacks up against some of the other wedges out there. Let's give it a try. So when Lynx send you a club, as we found out with this and with the um, Stinger driving iron that got sent to us, they don't use any plastics. So this comes wrapped in a cardboard box, wrapped in card, wrapped in paper, and with the little fabric sock on the end. Not only that, but they also give you these. You get a little pack of seeds, a little wild bird seed, well, wild seeds for bees. So quite a nice little touch there. Lynx, again, forefront thinking about the environment. Maybe a little bit of wind noise here. I mean, there is a bit of a breeze blowing, but we're using a, a clip-on mic today. Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. John, you'll probably see in the distance walking around to the other side. So he's going to be catching the shots coming across the green. So let's give it a hit. Down by the ball. Does look really nice. It's a classic sort of teardrop head. Doesn't feel too heavy. I mean, some of the cheaper wedges on the market, they're normally like a heavier head. This feels nice. It does feel very good. And yeah, just down by the ball. It's got that classic look, that classic teardrop shape. Doesn't look cumbersome. Quite easily open the face up. This one with the bounce. Design really to get you through the turf. And yeah, that sits really nice at 64 degrees. You can have no problems chipping it onto greens, pitching over bunkers. I usually use a 60 degree myself. So I normally manipulate the face around a little bit to hit higher shots, slightly lower shots. I go from 52 down to 60. So I haven't got a 56 sandwich in the middle. So for me, a 60 would probably be what I'd normally use. This one may be a little bit too lofted for me, but let's give it a hit and uh, We'll see what it's like. Pitching into the greens here at Hale Golf. Let's just give it a little hit and see what it's like. And I've got to say, that does seem to stop the ball quite well on the greens. You've also got like a milled face as well. So I can imagine that's going to help with, with any spin, any grip when you're pitching it in. Now I'm not really manipulating the face open on this, I'm keeping it at the standard sort of 64 degrees. And it is pitching in very nice. But I've got to say, by the ball, it does look really good. It doesn't look like a sub hundred pound wedge. And definitely the feel off the face as well. It doesn't feel cheap. It does feel like your sort of premium style wedges that you would buy for £100 plus each. So that does 
feel very good. Hopefully you'll see the footage from John's camera over there. It's got a lot of grab on the greens. It's stopping very quickly. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to try to manipulate the face a little bit hard, a little bit more open and just try to hit a slightly higher shot, see how it is. When you're hitting the ball, just opened up, see how the bounce works through the club and try one of the flop shots. So that's gone under that. No issues at all. But it is nice to be able to sort of manipulate that face and it's not... The leading edge isn't coming up to hit the ball too high. I can quite easily slide the club underneath. And that's stopping quite nicely. A little bit of roll out on those. Let's try another one. Oh, nearly hold that one out. So what I'll do now is hit a couple lower and see if you can see how it reacts really when you're hitting the pitch a little bit lower. So this is what I'd normally do with my 60. I probably have my hands a little bit more forward and I just try to hit it, feel like I'm covering the ball a little bit more through. So yeah, it does, does really what I'd expect. And from this sort of, what people would probably say a cheaper company, it feels fantastic. Caught that one a little bit heavy, but that was me rather than the club. But in all honesty, that feels really nice off the face. And it's it's not £150, it's not £100, it's £50. £49.99 for the chrome finish, £52.99 for the PVD. And that black really does look nice behind the ball. Not too much glare from the sun. We've got a little bit there over the shoulder today. And it just looks absolutely fantastic. Well, it does what it says on the tin. It's a 64 degree lob wedge. I think Lynx are a company that you need to look at. You need to try. Everybody knows about Vokey wedges. Everybody knows about the Mac Daddy wedges with Callaway. I reckon these are a good alternative. I mean, you're saving yourself some money. You can get a set of three of these for the price of one wedge with some manufacturers. I reckon these are definitely definitely something to look into if you're on a bit of a budget or if you're not playing that often and you just want you know a nice quality wedge definitely worth looking at Lynx golf what we'll do is we'll try some out of the bunker see how it reacts out of there hopefully my bunker play will be all right today but let's have a little look see how it goes there so we're in one of the practice bunkers here at hale golf um pick the pot bunker 64 degree wedge highest loft Let's see if we can get it out. So, I say, uh, I could repeat myself all day saying it looks good behind the ball. Um, let's see how this club reacts through the sand. It got out. Not quite the best bunker shot in the world, but again, it goes through, goes through the sand quite nicely. Sixty-four for me is probably too lofted. I'll probably stick with a sixty, a 60 so I can manipulate it. But this is very good out of the bunker. Just going through that sand with no issue. I don't think. Why wouldn't you look at these wedges? The the price point of them is fantastic. And if you say if you're not playing a great deal. Why not have a look into it? So, what do we think about, well, what do I think about the, uh, the Lynx wedge? So the Lynx Predator wedge, I don't think you can get anything better for the money, to be fair with that. The, the finish, the PVD finish, it's gonna wear over time. It's a cosmetic thing. Most wedges with a black finish, it does wear slightly. Does it affect the performance of the club? Not at all. You've got the millions on in between the grooves on the face. 
I think that helps quite nicely with the spin when you're approaching into the green. Found it quite useful, pitching it in there from a short distance. I don't think, for money, you can get a better wedge than one of these. Like I said, $52.99 for the black finish, $49.99 for the silver finish. Definitely something you've got to look at if you're looking at a wedge on a budget. So yeah, the big O opinion, yeah, a good wedge, great value for money. Right, thank you for watching. Comment below, what wedges do you use? What lofts do you use? Also, keep an eye on a couple of days' time. Maybe a giveaway. So again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Friendliest Golf Channel here on YouTube. And don't forget, we've got the Facebook group there, the Big Oggy Golf Club. Search for us on Facebook. We're all there. Come and have a chat to us. Again, thanks for watching. Hit the notification bell. It'll let you know when John releases another video. Thanks for watching.